Perseus was the son of Zeus, the king of the gods, and Danae. Danae was the daughter of Acrisius, the king of Argos. Acrisius was warned that he would be killed by his grandson Perseus, so Acrisius locked Perseus and his mother in a chest and cast them into the sea. They drifted to the island of Seraphis, where they were rescued and where Perseus grew into a man. Fifteen years were now past and gone, and the baby was now grown to be a tall lad and a sailor. The king of Seraphis later conceived a passion for Danae, but was unable to force his attentions on her because Perseus had grown into such a redoubtable protector. To get rid of Perseus, the king of Seraphis sent him on a quest to bring back the head of the Gorgon Medusa, a snake-haired maiden who turned all who saw her into stone. Perseus accomplished his quest with the help of Hermes and Athena. Athena helped Perseus by giving him her shield. But Hermes told Perseus that the other equipment was in the possession of the nymphs of the north and that it could only be obtained with help from the Grey Women. The Grey Women were strange creatures, most of all because they had but one eye for three, which it was their custom to take turns with, each removing it from their forehead when she had it for the time and handing it to another. Hermes himself had guided Perseus to them. Once there, Perseus kept hidden until he saw one of them take the eye out of her forehead and pass it on. At that moment, when none of the three could see, he rushed forward and seized the eye and refused to give it back until they told him how to reach the nymphs of the north. They helped him acquire a pair of winged sandals, a satchel, and the cap of Hades. Wearing the cap, he approached Medusa, looking only at her reflection in his shield, and cut off her head. As he flew back over Africa on his way home, he encountered Atlas. In the course of the struggle, he used Medusa's head to turn Atlas to stone. He also drew blood from the head onto the sands of the African desert, giving birth to the deadly vipers of that region. Later in the journey, he saw the maiden Andromeda, chained to a rock by the sea as a sacrifice to a sea monster. He fell in love with her and bargained with her father, Cepheus, for her hand in marriage if he killed the monster. He succeeded in slaying the beast, but at the wedding feast, Phineas, a jilted suitor of Andromeda, angrily demanded the bride. In the battle which followed, Perseus used Medusa's head to turn Phineas and his followers into stone. When he returned to Seraphis, he found that Pelodictes was still persecuting Danae. He used the Gorgon's head once again and turned Pelodictes to stone. He then gave the sandals, satchel, and cap to Hermes. He gave the gorgon's head to Athena, who emblazoned it upon her shield. Finally, he returned to Acrisius' kingdom, where he fulfilled the prophecy by accidentally killing the king while throwing a discus.